uh, we're talking about the practice jersey. How how long before you wear a, a real jersey? Oh man, soon, <laughs> soon. I'm just. I, I I don't know. I don't know the rules on what they want me to or to not say. So I'll just say soon, um, very soon. Um, in order to prepare, um, how how have you been trying to to get mental reps in? Or, or like, what, what kind of reps have you been trying to take to uh, be able to, to, to step on the floor? I've been staying locked in, you know, just kind of talking through Trey, or you know, kind of through Trey and through uh, through Jax a little bit, a little bit of Willie and uh, JV, just you know, almost talking them through the things I know about, you know, where they could, you know, do this here, or try this there, and, and hey, try to work on this a little bit more. Like, so that's how I've been kind of staying locked into our plays on, like, you know, uh, you know just staying fresh mentally. But obviously, there's going to be a, you know. I feel great, but there's going to be a, you know, there's going to be some rust to shake off. You know, I've been out for a little bit, so, you know, I don't expect to go out there and, you know, be like the 40th player this month to drop 50, so, you know, uh, I wouldn't be expecting that. Now, how tough has it been to stay patient? Because I know you've been pushing them to get back as soon as possible, but obviously you got to be safe with it. Yeah, you know, there's a, there's a fine line. You know, obviously, you know, this is a, you know, this is a, this is a team that, you know, is playing for something. And, you know, I'm, I'm just really excited to you know, be a part of it, so. Yeah, obviously, when I first got traded here, I knew I was going to be out. Um, but, you know, you hear four to six, and I'm like, perfect, four. Um, but, you know, training staff is like, whoa, agents like, whoa. Even the guys were like, take your time. You know, we're, you know as long as you got some time, you know, we'll be fine. We'll take care of business, and when you get back, we'll be ready to rock. So, um, I'm ready to rock. Well, what's it been like just kind of getting used to the locker room and learning, you know, all of these guys? I know that's something they all talk about this year, just what the locker room's like. That's easy. That's easy. You know, I've been I've been in good locker rooms. I've been in bad locker rooms. Um, young and old. This is a great locker room. This is a great locker room. You know, one through fifteen has a voice in there, um, and that's how it has to be for a team to be successful. Uh, you know, this is a uh, you know, you know, I think you know, Griff Trajan and those guys have done an unbelievable job of, of getting good people first. Yeah, obviously, you know, we see what they can do on the court, but you know, each and every one of them is a great person in their own right, and so that makes. My job as a leader on this team is super easy, where I get to come in and uh, I get to come in and talk to these guys, and they're receptive to it. And it's uh, you know it's, it's, it's been really uh, it's been really easy and a seamless transition. These, these past few weeks, we've seen Jackson Hayes playing a little power forward. It's kind of a new position for him. I know that's you know a guy you're communicating with a lot. What you thought about how he's done, you know, playing the floor? Jax is somebody that you could put him at. He's a basketball player. I don't know what position he is. You know, I have no <laughs> idea. He's somewhere between a. He's somewhere between a four and a five. I have no idea, but if he and it's not, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, if he plays like he does that San Antonio game, I tweeted about it afterwards. But yeah, he hit those threes. He played well offensively. Whatever. Defensively, how good he can be is hasn't even been begun to tap tap into that yet. So you know, uh, that's that's another thing I'm excited about. You know, he's. Um, yeah. What is it, 21, 22? He's, he's, he's a baby. And the fact that he can do the things he, he can do at, at the height and athleticism he can, he's, his, his, ceiling is, his ceiling is ridiculously high. So him playing the four, I think, is great for him. Uh, maybe put, put on a little weight, play the five a little bit, you know? Shoot, big lineup, throw him at the three. Why not? Like, you know, he's versatile. You know, as long as he can sit down and guard, you know, switch on those guards in the perimeter, he's going to be around this league with a high, high ceiling for him, as long as he feels like it. You're, you're a guy who has... Played a little, I mean, a lot of a lot of four, a little bit of five, a little bit of three. Like, how how much did you talk to him about trying to be versatile and, and, and kind of showing him, like, hey, I'm there's a path to it. I mean, I've I've done it. Yeah, no, all, all the time. I talk. That's the main thing I'm in his ear. That and rebounding. I, you know, he he's gonna get sick of me telling him about rebounding. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I talk to him all the time. You know, he made a play again in the San Antonio game. We it was they wanted their ran one of their patented plays through the leg. DeJounte Murray got it up top, or his man got up top, DHO with DeJounte, DeJounte Murray, and Jack switched on to DeJounte, all-star, an all-star. Contained the drive, DeJounte had a little hezzy back and re-pushed to go attack again. Jackson stayed with that, blocked the shot, shot clock violation. And I pulled him aside right after that and was like, yo, if you do that, if you can consistently do that, I, there, 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 there was, I mean, there's a lot of zeros when he retires. <laughs> if he can consistently do that, he's got a whole lot of zeros at the end of that number. So I'm just going to keep pushing him for that.
And on a uh, different note, we've seen you uh, perform at dunk contests before. Uh, we all saw the Z dunk last night. What's your rate that was? I got that. I'm 29. I got that. No. No, I mean, he's, he's a freak. He's a freak. We all know that. You know, he's a, he's a freak. He's, um, you know, one of the most physically gifted people that has ever graced the basketball court. And, uh, you know, we're just, you know, we're, we're, we're rocking with him. Whatever he's got, you know, whatever he's uh, working on, whatever he's coming back, you know, we are, we're right there with him. And I'm talking to him every day, too. Just, you know, I've been around seven years and plan to be around until they kick me out. So, you know, there's a, there's a certain level of, uh, you know, you know, some veteran inspiration that I think me and CJ can certainly help with, um, you know, in that regard. But, look, there are, I don't know if there's but 12 NBA players that can do that. That aren't playing right now? No. So he's, he's on another planet as the rest of us.